the, yeah. uh, the lease of the building, Did turn uh, it up? following the procurement standards, central register, all of it. We had one responder, which was the Buzzards Bay Coalition. And uh, they, they have a, a really, what I would say is a great opportunity. Uh, when you think about it, what are we trying to bring to the community? It's potentially, it's, a, it's an educational facility. It's a facility for our children to have activities, to have recreational activities for our, our low-income children to participate without any cost. And it's really, it's one of those opportunities that come along once in a community that I feel that, that can make a big difference. Uh, you know, something like this versus a, a, a beachside bar, I guess, is the, is the other alternative. It's really something that I think would be great for the community. Thank you. May I have the vote of the Board of Selectmen? Board of Selectmen voted to recommend approval of this article 500. May I have the vote and recommendation of the Finance Committee? The Finance Committee votes voted to recommend approval of this article 600. Uh, this is the next step in the bathhouse slash Wicketts Island project, which you approved last year. Again, this is part of the continuing story of Wareham and, and the future that we're looking for. Uh, we believe that the Buzzards Bay Coalition project will bring new vitality to Onset and Wareham. And uh, we think that it'll be enjoyed by Wareham residents. It will be a improvement for our, our children, something that they can learn from. And it'll be a draw for non-residents to come to Wareham and spend money at our restaurants, hotels, and parking meters. Finance Committee believes that this is an expenditure that's reasonable, and we recommend approval of this article. Thank you. Is there anything further to be said on Article 14? On my right. Thomas Bickey, uh, Precinct 3. Um, at the last town meeting, uh, we were told that the Buzzard Bay Coalition was going to raise somewhere around $2 million for the re you know, rehabilitation and renovation of the bathhouse. Um, Will this be the last time that the coalition comes before this body and asks for additional funds if we agree to provide an additional $200,000 to the organization that's agreed to raise $2 million? On my left. Yes. Hi. Uh, thank you, Mark Rasmussen. To answer the question, Mr. Rasmussen. Should I stay here or should I go to the other one? Uh, no, you can stay there. Mr. Uh, Rasmussen is from the Coalition of Buzzes Bay, so I will give him courtesy of the floor to answer the question. Thank you, and, I, and I'd love to answer and respond to the previous speaker, uh, but first to present to say thank you to the Board of Selectmen, the Finance Committee for the recommendation. To very briefly just uh, add to what was mentioned here tonight, um, so we are here in a continuation of a process that began more than a year ago, um, and I think the goal here is simply stated to dramatically improve the ability of Wareham's kids and families to get out on and enjoy the bay. That's simply what this project is all about. Um, so tonight is the bathhouse piece. You remember last fall we were here um, and asked for town meeting support for the purchase of Wicketts Island. We also have a deal under agreement to purchase the land across Onset Bay at Burgess Point. These lands become the basis for an engagement program that utilizes all of the lands and waters of Onset Bay to engage all ages in programs that range from sailing to rowing, kayaking, shellfish aquaculture, bay exploration, uh, and education programs. Uh, we've been very much inspired by an organization called the Duxbury Bay Maritime School, which does this work to excellence in Duxbury. And the idea here is to create a program that's not for the kids who have access to the yacht clubs, this is to create a program for everybody else. Um, and so that's our, that's our driving principle here. Can you answer Mr. Be Bickey's question? I can. So to get right to the, to the, um, the figures on this. So last year, we, town meeting helped support the purchase of Wicketts Island at $400,000. We are raising an additional $125,000 on top of that to purchase Wicketts Island. The bathhouse, however, is the key part of the expense to this project. The bathhouse renovation, our architect estimates, is about a $2 million renovation. We, we have sought CPA approval for 215000 to help with the exterior historic components only. We will be raising the remaining 90% of that money, roughly $1.75 as a condition of this lease uh, in order to get the building fully renovated. 
So to be very direct to the previous speaker's question, um, yes, this would be the only appropriation request for onsite bathhouse, and the last request you saw for Wicked Island will be the only request you see for any land. Thank you. Thank you. On my left. He may have answered part of my question. Uh, Margaret Ishihara of uh, Precinct 3. I just wanted to get a general idea. I know the lease is to be negotiated, but you must have some general idea what the structure of that is going to be. Um, I think that Mr. Rasmussen indicated that part of the lease agreement would be their commitment to doing the renovations. Am I correct about, is my understanding correct about that? And generally, what would the other terms of the lease be? To answer the question? It would be some of the services that they're offering. And uh, it, we really, when it comes down to procurement, until you have the contract, that's really that's really the portion of, uh, of it that makes it all come together. And we're, I think this, uh, this, this body probably knows I'm pretty frugal. So when working with the selectmen, it's kind of laughing at me. But that's, uh, we're going to try and get the, uh, the best out of them really because it's uh, I, I don't know how else to, to it's explain it on there <laughs> Claire's laughing she so, knows so I, I'm gathering that there's not well I'm not sure what I'm gathering um, I'm gathering that just it's not the standard lease where you're paying rent that there's going to be certain conditions to do the renovations but the actual rental might be a nominal amount to answer the question? Well, this Board of Selectmen has a habit of shaking down people pretty good, and I would say, uh, in response to your question, we're not going to negotiate public and tip our hand. <laughs> Thank you. Such a Sure. Um, I'm going to ask Town Council he, uh, to weigh in as well. I uh, certainly, uh, Rich Bowen, Town Council. I second uh, Selectman Teitelbaum's sentiment. But uh, just to uh, Attorney Ishihara's point, uh, we definitely won't be using the standard Boston real estate broker's uh, license. There'll be expectations in there uh, that are based on the representations that have been made to us as to the services that will be rendered to the community. Thank you. Thank you. So anything further to be said on Article 14? Seeing no one sta standing, um, I will call for a vote on Article 14, which is the lease of the Onset Bathhouse. Because this is a uh, parcel of, of land owned by the town that is being leased to someone else, it does require a two-thirds vote. I um, will try for unanimous. Vote is on Article 14, the lease of the Onset Bathhouse. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Passes unanimously by two-thirds not counted. We're going to go to Article 13.